Ugh. That's disgusting. All right, guys, here we are. It is the next day. Take a look at the progress. I got the black carpets in and the black interior on. Let me, uh, let me show you this close up. There we have it. Nice, clean, black carpets. So yesterday, I took this carpet out of the other Commander, and well, it was funky, to say the least. I feel so funky. About a year and a half worth of grime uh, just sitting there. It was a little moldy, a little musty. So I took this thing, I sprayed it down with carpet cleaner. I sprayed it down with some anti-mold cleaner. And what I did was scrub this whole thing. And then I used a little uh, wet vac. I vacuumed up all this junk. And had this carpet sit out all day yesterday while I deconstructed. And then today I reassembled it and I vacuumed it again. It is nice and dry. It is pretty clean. There's still some stains, some rust stains from where the seat bolts in. And there's always a little bit of coffee stained <laughs> under the seat. But so far, so good, guys. It's looking great. Uh, I bolted this all back together. This is easy stuff. Just pops out. Uh, everything's self-explanatory. The wires have uh, wire memory. It goes back all nice. So what I'm going to do now is, let's see. I think I'm going to trace this guy I'm just gonna trace the outline of this little latch because I want to take it off and it's gonna give me some clearance to help slide the seats in without getting snagged up on this thing but uh, most importantly while it's off I'm gonna paint it and it's gonna look really really nice so zip this off with a t40 clean this up I'll paint it and now it is ready for seats. I'm going to insert the middle row. <laughs> yeah. Heavy schmeat right there. Oh. How do I get this in? It's lifted. Great job, Dan. Here we go. <sighs> I need ratchet straps. I'll be seated. Wow, what a workout, but it paid off. The uh, back seats are in. 
Did I mention that was quite the workout? <laughs> oh man, these suckers are heavy. But they cleaned up really nice and uh, they're looking really good. Oh, I miss these guys. Now let's just make sure they work. Fold this guy down. Take a look at him from the back. How you doing? Looking real good. <laughs> well, armor roll goes a long way. Oh, I need my other hand. Squeaky clean. Uh, they're down. All right, so the middle row is in. Now it's time to do the third row. All right, gonna put in our little back trim jobby, whatever this thing's called, this little cargo situation. You know what, let me dry this down before I put on the screws. Don't want them to rust. All right, got my panel zipped down, threw in my jack tools, and check this out, guys. Nice and clean and painted. We got our little lift gate latch ready to go. Throw on some anti seize. Gonna hand thread them first. Now they're on some clips that slide around. That's why it is important to note your position with some marker. I did so. So here we go. We'll zip it in. Now we could throw on this piece. It just lays in here. Clips down. All four clips. A little armor all wipe down. <laughs> Looking good. All right, just need one more piece. Here it is. Last piece of the puzzle. And the back is done. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I am stoked to have almost completed black commander interior. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. There it is. Came a long way. Not bad. Can't put the front seats in just yet because we got to do the dashboard next. We got two out of the three rows of this Commander converted to a black interior. Um, <laughs> also did all those side panels. Yeah. Um, side panels, I swapped the seat belts. The seat belts are now black, all four all around. And uh, yeah, all right, next up, we're gonna do the dashboard, so stay tuned for that video. All right, guys, it's been a little while. In the meantime, I did a dashboard swap video. I hope you enjoy that video. We went from the tan and taupe dash to my all black dashboard and we also did the steering wheel video where I took out a Overland black steering wheel I got from eBay and I dyed it all black here and uh, yeah I also painted these these selector button control bezels nice and black so uh, I think that looks really sharp I love it also to match the black on the dashboard I painted that trim piece that says Commander Black as well. No more weird, awkward silver. I, I don't know why they did that. There was no silver anywhere on this car. We do have some chrome trim here around the vents, but that's all right. We got chrome accents on the shifter and the bezel. Of course, we got the chrome accents on the door handle. I guess that's just a limited thing uh, right there as well. A lot, of, a lot of little pieces of chrome, so I'm okay with the chrome. I just didn't know why they had that weird silver, but not to worry anymore. It is gone. So what is next? The final thing we got to do for this interior is put together the center console. All right, so here's the center console. 
This is the last piece of the puzzle. It just slides in, but I can't do that because I can't stand this. These vents, <laughs> it's the worst part of the commander. The kids that sit in the middle of the back, put their feet up here, they punch in the vents. This one's busted, obviously, but they both are loose. Why are they loose, you might ask? Because they are only in place, uh, they're held in place by this thin, flimsy plastic vent. And this plastic vent only mounts to one and two spots right there. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to uh, anchor these vents so they're not so flimsy. And of course I gotta fix this busted one. So I'm gonna take it out by removing these T15 Torx. T15 it is. Also, look how nice that looks. <laughs> I love that painted black latch. That is good old Rust-Oleum paint, semi-gloss black, it's good stuff. I buy that in bulk, I keep that in stock in case I need a quick black job. Black jobs. This comes right out, a flimsy piece of crap, maybe I'll vacuum it, gross. And these, I don't know what they do, they just, they just lay in there, they're just lazy, they don't do anything. They don't even clip in or nothing, so. Eh, let me rebuild them with the piece I got from the other commander. I'm just going to take out these little rotating things left and right, rebuild this thing. All right, these vents just pop out of their sockets. You just push them out, come a jar, you can just roll them right out. Easy peasy. And then in the vents, these little pieces that just clip on right to the center, they could be popped off. Nice and gently, do not break it. Go ahead and push that in, and then you can pull these out. There we go. Slides right out. Oop, dropped it. Yep, these guys, this is what I need. Oh look, the tab on my black vent is broken, so I'm gonna need to take out one of these middle fins. Take out this middle fin with the tab. You just push and pull, and that separates. You could get the fin out. You push this down. You can see these little tabs. That is what holds the fins together, but keeps them rotating. Don't break them. Or we could just push the whole assembly out. If your tabs are broken, push the whole assembly out from these corners. I went with taking out the whole fin assembly. There we go. Don't break it one-handed. There. I'll just slide it in to here. Also, now's a good time to brush out any grime. I use a kid's paintbrush. It works really well. All right. I just popped the clean grid right back in the way the other one came out. And I'm just going to slide in my dial in place. And I dyed these that black color with the same stuff I used to dye the steering wheel. I gently push them into place. Yeah. All right, not too shabby. We got a working black vent. I'm just gonna do this one more time with the other side and we'll put this back together. I got two assembled working vents and look at this old one. Busted dial and the fins were just beat to crap. So this is a necessary change, necessary project. Cleaned up my little vent housing and we're just gonna put these in the same way we took them off. We'll insert the little knob on the sides first, and then we'll just clip in the big side. There we go. And don't forget to leave this rubber gasket in. That helps it uh, maintain, what do you call it? It's um, stiffness? Is that a word? Yeah. This way the vents don't just flop up and down. We'll get the other one in. Don't push too hard. Don't want to break it. <laughs> there we go. We got working vents up and down, side to side, beautiful. So these vents are supposed to um, just sit in this duct and, and that's it. They just flop around in there and that that's, that's terrible. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna pin them in on each side, uh, just a little flat uh, fender screw, a little self-tapper. Um, I have no problem seeing a little screw sticking out into the vents because uh, this has to be done 
um, and it's gonna work. First issue is addressed. The vents are complete and working. Yay! Uh, second issue is addressed. I pin the vents onto the ductwork. One big pin on each side. You could barely see it through the duct. Doesn't matter. I'd rather see that than uh, have these things flopping around and it does not impede the function whatsoever. So that's cool. And yeah, now we have to mount this firmly in that. So I took out the side screws on either side of the console that holds this cage in. Be able to get more room. Oops, don't break it. I'll get some more room to put this in since we just made a bigger duct. I'm gonna need two hands and I'll just stretch that in. There we go, that worked beautifully. Now once you get the duct down, the vents are supposed to just clip right in. Let's see if they do that. Yes, they do. They clip in. There's two on the top, two on the bottom. And what I'd really like to do is pin this in with screws, but I can't because then that, I'm sure, would impede the rotation of these vents. So we'll have to look for better ways to secure this vent in there. All right, while pushing the vent up in place, I did observe four little notches. It's very hard to see, little clips up there. And with a little pick, I was able to coax these notches into place and it snapped in and now it's holding on pretty tight. So that's pretty cool. I think that might be the best solution. So yeah, using the pick, pull that in. That solves that problem. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these screws back in here, holding the duck to the um, what is this? The bottom of the center console. What am I doing? That's a Torx. Wow, that worked out really well. These things are in tight with those clipped in the top. It really holds, especially since I pinned it with those self-tapping screws in there. There you go. Wow, that's the tightest I've ever had the Commander Vents ever. All right. I think we could install this baby back to, oh wait, no, forgot. Um, gotta pin these sides in to the metal. Let me do that now. Da, 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 da. All right, center console goes in as easy as it came out. We're just gonna drop it in place and remember that we have a 10 millimeter bolt right there and two Torx, I think they're T20s. 25s maybe in the bottom. What we're gonna do is just lay it down to have this strap go over the shifter bezel and it's just gonna pop right in. Make sure the seat belts are on the outside when you go ahead and tuck it in. All right, just laying it down and the front plugs into these two little clips in there. Two clips on either side. Don't forget to fish your wires back up where they belong. You don't want to pin your wires off. So we'll get this cluster up and this cluster up as well. Go ahead and rock it right in place. There. When it's in, you can give it a nice shove forward. So the two plugs go into where they are. You're gonna to wanna to line up that 10 millimeter hole to where the bolt goes. And it should lay down pretty close to where these screws go. And we could adjust them to get this lined up with the hole. And when you're pushing, make sure you don't push your vents in. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna send in my 10 millimeter. And now I'm gonna finish off these cup holders with these little, uh, I don't know, liners, cup holder liners. These are the factory ones, nice and neat. And once you have your back two torque screws secured, go ahead and plug in your rear controls. You can go clip your rear panel right back in. Well, that's just beautiful. Moving right along, we will conclude the center console with the wood grain bezel. 
just clips right in. If you swap any molding around, make sure you keep your pertinent badging. Of course, this one has Quadra Drive 2. And last but not least, the wood grain bezels chrome bezel. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. All right, center console is in, looking great. All I have left is these kick panels and these door sills. Done. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. I can't believe it is done. I finally have my black interior back in the commander. It feels like a missing part of me has been restored. I got my black commander, black interior again, the loss of the black booty, Commander XK has been uh, been healed, and we are just uh, we're just enjoying having our black on black commander once again. Not that there was anything wrong with the taupe and tan overland interior, but this black limited interior was something that uh, I really liked. Very rare, 2010 limited, and uh, yeah, well, we uh, we saved every piece of it and put it in this one. So. This commander is complete. Thank you guys for watching this interior swap video. Hope you enjoyed it. And well, that's gonna do it. Um, make sure you watch the steering wheel video and uh, I'll show you how to get the steering wheel in there, dyed and colored to match. Also, I have the dashboard video. There's a lot going on with this commander. So yeah, if you haven't checked out the other videos, definitely take a look. Uh, check out my lift video, how I got those awesome wheels and tires. Those are 33s, 32 and a halfs. And uh, we're going to do some, some more blacking out, maybe get black headlights and uh, kind of dull out some of that chrome a little bit. But that's it, guys. Interior is done. What a burden lifted off my chest. And uh, it feels good. Feels good to be uh, the whole once again. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching, of course. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace. <laughs> that's a lot of interior. Whoo!